The CA6 Core Alignment Fusion Splicer has a 5-inch touchscreen and an easy user interface. With the contractor in mind, the FIS CA6 is compact, lightweight, and fast with a 6-second splice time and a 15-second heat shrink time. The FIS CA6 is an affordable and effective solution for doing fiber-to-fiber -fiber splicing, as well as for FIS's line of Cheetah and Armadillo splice-on connectors. Remember, before using a fiber optic fusion splicer, you must perform an arc calibration. The video link will be in description below. Before terminating splice-on connectors, the fusion splicers need to be set up. Click the menu icon on the top left of the screen. Select menu and operating settings and make sure the arc pause is turned off. and scroll down to Post Splice Action or Proof Test. Select it and select None Key. Click the menu icon to get back the main screen. Now, click on the menu icon and select Single Mode G.652 Standard. Single Mode Fiber G.652 and Single Mode G.652 Standard. For the oven setting, click on the menu icon and select ESC Fusion. Next, select Splice on Connector after that ESC Fusion. To place the FIS Splice on Connector holder, take an Allen wrench and unscrew the standard fiber holder from the machine and place the SOC holder onto the splicer. Take the FIS Splice on Connector Blister Pack and turn it upside down. Fold in half and open it from the back. In the pack there is the Splice on Connector with Cleave Protector, 27 mm splice sleeve, the custom 900 micron boot, and the SC external housing. Take the field fiber and assemble the back of the connector. First, slide the 900 micron boot, then slide the 27 mm splice sleeve. Take the tri hole stripper and strip the 900 micron jacket. Strip a quarter of an inch at a time, so you don't run the risk of breaking the glass. After removing the 900 micron jacket, use the 250 micron slot of the stripper and remove the acrylate coating. To clean the fiber, use 99% isopropyl alcohol and a low lint wipe. Take the cleaver and place the fiber into the groove until the buffer is at 10 millimeters. Then cleave. Open the lid of the machine and then the lid of the fiber holder and lay the fiber into the groove. Notice the fiber is past the blue pad of the V groove but not extended far enough to the electrodes. Take the splice-on connector, remove the dust cap and the cleave protector, and place it in the splice-on connector holder. Once again, both fibers are past the blue pad of the V-grooves, but are not extended far enough to the electrodes. Close the lid. When the left side is done aligning, press the blue arrow button to finish the alignment process and the splicing. The splice is complete with the estimated loss on top. When splice is complete, open the lid, open the cover of the fiber holder, and gently pull the fiber right out of the splicer. Next, 
Slide down the splice sleeve so it grabs both sides of the 900 micron tight buffer and place it into the oven. The CA6 has been modified for splice on connectors and there is a tiny switch on the right side of the oven. Push it back with a finger. Notice the orange light is on, indicating the oven is on. Make sure you have an even melt along the splice sleeve prior to sliding the boot up. Slide the boot up over to the back body of the connector. Take your SE housing. Match up the keyways and slide it on. An audible click should be heard. Put the dust cap on. The termination of the FIS 900 Micron Cheetah Splice On Connector is now complete. To purchase any of the products used in this video, contact Fiber Instrument Sales at 1-800-500-0347 or go to our website at fiberinstrumentsales.com. Subscribe to our channel for new videos.